Hello, it's Ruby and today I'm going to be filming my absolute favourite video to film and that is what is in my school bag. So I say school bag, technically this is of course university bag because I'm going into my final year of university um, and I did buy a new bag for the occasion. So I got this Konkan three years ago but I've got a new bag for this year. Now they're the exact same colour, they're the frost green but this one is a lot bigger as you can see. This has served me so well and I am still going to use it all the time but I got this one because it holds more and it's got the protective laptop sleeve at the back where I can keep my laptop protected because the other bag isn't really designed to protect your laptop. And I did actually film me unboxing this, so I will show you that now. Okay, I have just received my new bag in the post. This has just got the invoice in. It's very fancy. Here is the bag. So this is the 15 inch laptop bag in frost green as you can see they are the same color but this one is a lot more tatty it's definitely more worn but it still works perfectly like i trust this bag so much i've worn this pretty much every day for the last three years and it's held up so so well Already I can tell that this can fit so much more in. I don't know the litre difference, I'll put that on the screen. Like it's wider, it's visibly wider. Also at the back you can see it's got padded straps and of course the laptop compartment here. So that's what it looks like. So you can see it is visibly smaller. Um, but I'm still going to be using this bag a lot, it's just I'm going to use the other bag for university. Anyway, with that said, I'm going to show you actually now what I'm keeping in it. Let's start with the side compartments on this bag. Uh, they are big enough to hold a water bottle, so I've got my Chili's water bottle in one side, and on the other side I have got my rain hat. This is so handy, it's much lighter than an umbrella, you can put it in your pocket, and you can pretend you're a fisherman, which is pretty great. Now I'll show you what's in the front compartment. So the first thing I've got is my purse. It's just a really tiny one which is very portable and massive essential in here of course is my library card which I will not leave the house without. The other quite valuable card I'd recommend getting is a Wardstones Plus card which will get you 5% off any book shopping that you do. I've also got my keys in this like little personal alarm. And also I would keep my phone in here. Now let's go into the back pocket here. Oh, as you can see as well, there's padded straps, which is so, so comfortable and make it so easy to hold, even though this bag is quite heavy and I've got quite a lot of stuff in it. This just opens up so you can keep all of your bigger documents at the back and you don't have to like dislodge everything in the main compartment in order to get them out. So the first thing of course is my laptop. I've got a MacBook Pro. I mean, I would really recommend MacBooks. I think like a MacBook or a MacBook Air definitely will do the exact same job. The reason I've got the Pro is for editing more than anything academic. Next, I wouldn't always keep this in my bag. It very much depends on how I'm going to be taking the notes in that particular class, but sometimes I might have my iPad as well in there. So this is the 2018 normal iPad, it's not the iPad Pro, but it is compatible with the Apple Pencils, so it's a lot cheaper than the iPad Pro and it basically does everything that I would want it to do. And then finally I've got this envelope folder, uh, it's just a really nice like raindrop one which is really cool. I've got some letter writing supplies. Uh, if you don't know, I really love writing letters and I like to always have the option of writing a letter should I want to. To go along with that, I've just got some second class stamps and also this mini sticky notes pad. As you can see, it's just got some page flags, some sticky notes. These are like tear away pad pieces and a little pen for jotting notes down. I also will keep some spare paper in there, like just A4 loose sheets, but I don't have any in there at the moment. Okay, and then finally we're going on to the main compartment, which is where most of my things are. So the great thing about this bag too is that you, it opens up quite wide so you can see everything. 
So it unzips all the way and then look, you can kind of go like this and just see everything. On top here, I've got my headphones. These are wireless headphones and I really, really love these. I might not bring those to campus with me because I've got mini ones as well, but I might do if, for example, I was going to a cafe to study because the sound quality is better and they're more comfortable. So here is my pencil case. It's this tiny one, which was my mum's. I think it might be a toilet case bag, I'm not sure, but it's a really good size but, and not too bulky. So I thought I'd just quickly show you what I keep in my pencil case. The first thing are some coloured pens. All of these are the Zebra Sarasa 0.5 nibs. Having a different colour pen is just useful if you need to like mark something. I've also got a Lamy Safari fountain pen with a medium nib, a Parker pen. I use refillable ink cartridges for each of these. At the moment, this has got red ink in and this one has got blue ink in. Then I've got a 15 centimeter ruler. This one is a Lisa Simpson one because I do love the Simpsons. I've got four mild liners, which are my favorite highlighters. Then just a black Zebra Sarasa 0.5 nib. These are my favorite non-fountain pen pens. And then finally, I've got some sticky notes and a mini washi tape. Next here, I've got this little bag. This is full of my chargers. So I've just got my phone charger and my laptop charger in here. And having it in this little linen pouch means that they don't get lost in my bag. And it just makes the bag feel less cluttered. Like when, you, when I open this up, I can easily find everything at a glance. And then just on the side there as well, I have these two bags. This is just a plastic Waterstones bag. And this is a tote bag. And this is for all of the spontaneous library visits that I invariably go on. So if I need to lug some books back from the library, I've got this with me. I could also use it for food shopping as well. Then in terms of like notebooks and things, I always keep my reading book on me. I never travel anywhere without a book. I find that the only time you don't have a book with you is the one time that you really, really need it. There'll always be periods where you're suddenly waiting for something and or somebody and if you have your book with you then you'll never be bored and you don't have to resort to like scrolling through your phone so recommend that. I also have to keep a notebook with me so this is the notebook from Pumpkin Productivity which we released recently and this is a dotted notebook where I'm keeping track of like random lists and notes and things and I always like to have a notebook like this on hand so for example I've used this for like jotting down lines of poetry or like short story ideas and then finally here I've got my academic planner uh, unfortunately this is sold out now so I'm sorry but this has got space every day for writing down my to-do list so I just use this for keeping track of everything on a day-to-day -day basis I also like to stick in one of these mini master to-do list sheets onto like the most recent calendar page so that I have a more in-depth longer to-do list available that I can add to if I need to. And then the last thing I have in here is this pretty big toiletries bag. Uh, this is from Calvini & Co. I get loads of questions about this. It's so nice. My sister got this for me. And this has got everything random in it, like little things which I want to bring with me, but I don't like to have things loose in my bag or even things loose in the front compartment. It's much nicer to have everything compartmentalized and it means that you don't have to like spend time looking for things. It's like much easier. So if we open this up, I'll show you what I've got in here. But the first thing is a bookmark in case I start a new book whilst I'm out. Then I've got some mints. These are my favorite mints. They are the Peppersmith one. If you didn't know, I wear contact lenses. So I just keep a contact case with me in case I need to like take my contacts out and clean them or something. Next is a handkerchief. Oh my goodness, a handkerchief is so so valuable and like important i think it's such a simple thing like you can literally just bring like a tiny piece of fabric but it's got so many uses it's so versatile um in particular i like to use handkerchiefs for like pressing buttons and like opening door handles and things would recommend bringing a handkerchief with you it will come in much more useful than you think it will i've also got some spare masks in here next i've got a mini portable charger very self-explanatory but you don't want your phone to run out whilst you're out and about and especially if it's late so having a portable charger and making sure it's fully charged is a really really valuable thing to have on your person at university i've got a hand cream this is a very old one it's a zoella one um which smells like gingerbread it honestly smells like autumn i also have a little burt's bee lip balm then these are my um wireless earphones that i was telling you about so these are good for like keeping in my pocket a lot of the time hair clips hair bands I also always keep a snack on me. That's really, really important. So this is one of the Misfits chocolate banoffee protein bars. These are so, so delicious. And I might also keep like a Tupperware box full of 
nuts and seeds and um, little things that I can snack on during the day as well. Obviously if I'm on campus for a longer time too then I'll bring a little packed lunch as well. And then the final thing I've got in here is my Apple Pencil. Wouldn't fit in the other pencil case because it was too small. Um, and I've just got a little silicone um, protector on it so that it doesn't get scratched. I don't want the nib to scratch in my bag so that's why I've got this on. And yes, that's everything. I hope that this gave you some ideas of things that you can keep in your school bag. Perhaps I do bring rather too much with me, but I find that these things actually do come in useful. During my time in education, I have found myself needing these things and using them. So I just bring what I feel like I will need and what will come in useful, especially in this pouch here. Yes, hopefully you got some ideas and good luck if you're starting school soon. Uh, I hope school's going well if you've already started and I hope you have a productive week. Bye.